when the Pope is in town, a lot of people will be raising their smartphones up high to t take photographs, right? Oh, but yeah. uh, one thing we do a lot with our smartphone these days is watch online comic books or webtoons. Webtoons. I'm also an avid re reader of webtoons. And the growth in the, that industry for the past 10 years really has been outstanding. Right. Our Park Ji-won tells us about their rise and what the future may hold for the market and its growing fan base. 35-year-old artist Kim Pung publishes a weekly webtoon on a major portal website in Korea. He often accesses his own work through his smartphone and checks the responses of viewers, something that keeps him connected to an industry he's very much invested in. I see a great potential in the industry. Nowadays, public perception about webtoons has improved greatly, and we see many cases of webtoons being adapted into different genres of art or becoming the source of other products. I see the future of webtoons in a rosy light. Since debuting in 2003, Kim has witnessed the growth of the webtoon industry in Korea. Back then, we didn't even have the word webtoon. We called them internet cartoons. It was an infancy period. The history of web cartoons in Korea dates back about 10 years now. Back in late 1990s and early 2000s, so-called internet cartoons were mainly composed of personal anecdotes or were short comic strips. The web to market began growing in 2003 when Taum, a major Korean portal website, started to provide web to portal services. Naver, another major portal site, jumped in in 2005, triggering a web to boom here. Webtoons then began delving into all sorts of genres like action and thrillers and began to involve more serious, large scale plots. By 2010, Webtoons began a source of story banks for other genres. Nearly 50 webtoons produced in 2012 and some 40 webtoons produced last year have been adapted into films, dramas and even character licensing contracts. As of 2014, webtoons began providing translated contents to the global market through a diverse set of platforms, such as Naver's global instant messenger program LINE, to meet a wider audience outside of Korea. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.